Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with the FIA official season in the Nations Championship Round 1 track guide. So for this track guide I use the NSX. Now I'm not 100% convinced this is going to be the best car um, for this weekend. I really don't know. We're going to do some more testing tonight on stream. I'm not going to do manufacturers this week. I'm going to just concentrate on Nations for this week. It looks like we're not going to be able to change our manufacturer as well. Even though they previously stated in January that we would be able to they've gone back on their word and have i don't know what's gone on but we're not allowed to now so we're stuck with aston martin so i won't be doing round one um, i'm going to concentrate more so on nations and i will do the odd round in the manufacturers as and when um the combinations are combinations that i like and i think that will suit the car so for round one we're just going to do nations and like i say this is a tricky one this about the car selection because um, the NSX hasn't got as good fuel saving as GTR, but it's faster over a lap, which is going to get you better qualifying. Um, this lap hasn't been pushed 100%, but um, there is more time available, but it's good enough as a rough guide to your braking points and stuff like that. So we're going to get along with this guide, and like I say, we're going to be testing out more to do with different car selections, whether the GTR is better in the race or the um, NSX. It's going to be interesting to see which one is favourable. I might even try the Lexus just to give it a go as well because the Lexus has quite good tyre wear so that might be an idea to try that one out. Anyway, starting your lap obviously flat out through to the final corner making sure you get a good strong exit. The first braking zone you're going to be looking at is just before the 100 board on the left hand side. We're going to slow it down as usual as we come to that braking reference as we go past the boards on the left hand side. Now you're going to start seeing the 100 board appearing just up ahead then. We're going to wait just before that. You can see there, first braking input's going in now just before that 100 board. Now you need to be braking and downshifting all the way into third gear and try and get your right hand tire to clip the um, blue bit of Astro on the right hand side and slightly, basically over the kerb you'll see there clipping it just nicely there slowly on the power not 100 throttle and then back onto 100 just before we get to the curb and again you're going to take your left hand tire over that blue bit of astro but as we do that you're going to come off the accelerator and this is because it will send the car a little bit loose at the rear if you try and take maximum acceleration over the curb so we just drop it down to 50 percent and then back up to maximum throttle early up shift into fourth gear that's to try and bite this apex the car into the apex a little bit early you can see how the ghost pulls away there but what happens now is because i've got into the apex nicely you want to just skim the curb you don't want to get on the curb because it will loosen the rear end but as you see there a much better exit than that ghost and actually puts me ahead of the ghost at that point then into the braking zone i brake nice and early before the bridge you see quite a bit before that bridge and um, this is mainly again to try and get the car very close to the apex on the entry you can see as we go into the corner, staying in third gear, I try and get that right hand tire to just skim the kerb. And again, you don't want to get on the kerb because it will loosen the rear and you'll lose traction coming out of the corner. We have a little bit of oversteer coming onto the corner. You see they're working the steering wheel, but managed to correct it nicely. Early up shift into fourth gear again, just to stop that rear sliding too much. And then again, you want to be braking very early. I try to brake, make sure that you're braking before you see the white and red of the kerb appear on the left hand side. If you're braking when you see that, you're too late. Down into second gear and try and get the car into the apex very closely again it's a good idea to break early for this corner rather than late and then on the power as early as you can 50 percent throttle you see there and then very early on the maximum throttle this gives you a strong exit using all the curb on the right hand side to go down into the very fast chicane now this corner very tricky you want to be braking just as you see the white um starting extending on the width on the right hand side down into third gear and get your left hand tire over the curb slightly here this will enable you to really get on the power nicely. You'll see as we come into the corner, we're going to get onto that kerb and then 50% throttle already and then maximum, just a little lift off the throttle because I felt the car was going to run a little bit too far wide. You can afford to get your left hand side just onto the kerb. Um, any further wide than what I did there, you will probably pick up a penalty. We actually took very good speed over that corner there. Now into this really fast right hand corner, just as the kerb on the left hand side ends, you're going to throw the car in with a tap, touch a brake I did there. You can do it without braking. And then early on the throttle, trying to build that speed up as you come out the exit and maximum throttle all the way now down into the very tight hairpin you can see just slightly ahead of the ghost again and we as we come into the braking zone braking just on that just before the the warning light on the right hand side it's either blue yellow or it's not on at that point there but that's your braking reference there down into first gear slowly bringing the car into the apex and try and get the cut left hand tire to basically clip that green bit of astroturf again as we come out the corner it squares the car off nicely early up shift into second and then keep that the foot firmly to the floor as you go over this bit of astro turf now straight lining it as much as possible you can see we've pulled away from the ghost behind us there and now into the braking zone i like to break earlier than rather than late for this corner it's all about just 
um, judge in this corner. There's no real reference. I just like to break earlier. And we try and get on the power a little bit too early and it sends a rear loose you can see the correction of the oversteer there the ghost catches me up we lost about a tenth maybe a tenth and a half at least on that corner there it was a silly mistake but now breaking for this next right hand corner you're going to break pretty much in halfway on along where the rubber marks are on the curb and try and chuck it in as they come back onto the track and um, you see we're chucking it in now nice and early down into second gear and you want to get your right hand tire to clip the highest point of that curb and try and slowly feed the power back in as you go into third gear and then early on the brakes. You see I'm braking well before the shadow on the floor. That's because I'd rather get a nice entry point into this final chicane. You can get a lot of time gained by doing this. See how early I turn in there? Trying to get the middle of the car over the sausage curb. You can see pretty much lined it up perfectly there. Be careful on there. You can lose it so easily. And again, you can cut a little bit of this off by taking again the middle of the car over that part of the curb and on the throttle very early build it up early up shift into third gear don't let it rev out too much you can you can lose the rear by doing that and then accelerating all the way over line you can see we lost quite a bit to that ghost when we made that silly error where i tried to get on the power too early we probably lost a tenth and a half to two tenths um so we can definitely get it down to 34.5 i think at least if we were going to push it a bit more but i just wanted to get this track guide out as soon as possible to give you some sort of references to where your braking points are we're going to watch the lap now from the chase camera and just show you what i mean about swinging it into these corners and trying to clip the apexes it's so important you'll see now here just over the blue bit of astro and again onto the blue bit again and then this right hand corner look how i try and just skim it onto the curb there just skimming the curb nicely there and that helps the car bite into the apex nicely and actually gets you on the throttle nice and early working your way up into this next braking zone and that's why again you see it there just clipping the apex nicely but you don't want to get on the curb because like i say if you get on that curb the car will go very loose and then again similar thing for this corner braking early it's very much a case of this first the first further lap is all about braking early and getting stronger exits from the corners and again this is again very similar you want to take a lot of exit speed through this corner you want to carry the speed through that one as well though and then this right hand corner i probably could have done this a bit better i braked a bit too much there and probably didn't carry as much speed as I would have liked but it's not too bad and then into the braking zone this one's a tricky one you can actually miss up braking very easy if you're not paying attention um, always look out for that board that on the right hand side it's the um it's the screen that shows you whether there's a yellow flag or blue flag available and this is a point where i've got on the throttle too much you saw the oversteer kick in there lost quite a bit of time there because we didn't maintain the smooth momentum out of the corner so maybe a tenth and tenth and a half loss there and then we did this corner fairly well aggressively over that curb swung it in and on the throttle reasonably well and that got us back just slightly past the ghost i think we were only we pretty much matched the time i previously done but it's a shame because we was at least a tenth of up on it obviously so over the line on 34.8 but like i say we can take at least three temps off that lap i'm going to leave you with the full lap at full speed without any talking hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if it helped you out let me know if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos thanks again for watching everyone Thank you.